as SWAT teams, police, and U.S. Marshals surround this Westwood home. We used every precaution we had. He was very dangerous. Investigators say Jacob Julik was hiding inside and making a move that would impress even Santa Claus. Well, it doesn't sound like somebody you want to be found when you're hiding inside the chimneys. Julik emerged from the chimney covered in soot and flanked by police. We're, we're very, very relieved. Kyle Thornberry is a detective with Erlanger Police. We're very happy with the outcome of this uh, situation with Mr. Jacob Julik. The capture comes after Julik's mother says she got a call that her son wanted to give up. What he told me is they think I'm in the house, but I'm not. I'm out back by some apartments on a wood line. That is, is not true at all. Uh, basically, the U.S. Marshal saw him there at the house. He hid inside and hid in there for five hours. Julik has been on the run since police say he fired at two Lakeside Park officers during a traffic stop earlier this month. Investigators say Julik then tried to ram a Covington officer's vehicle. He's charged with attempted murder of an officer three times. Is any time when we can come to you know a safe conclusion uh, where nobody gets hurt, that's that's the best the best option for all for everybody involved. But the investigation isn't over yet. Police have already charged Aaron Pino and Krista Cortez with helping Julik while he was on the run. And they aren't the only ones who detectives say allowed a very dangerous man to remain on the loose too long. Now, investigators say nearly a dozen are charged so far with helping a Julik escape police for this long. Pino, well, he was the driver. Investigators say in that Lakeside Park incident, they initially thought Pino was helping them, but it turns out investigators say he was misleading them, and that helped Julik get away. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.